I finally decided to jump back into the one scene for a video, and what I thought would be a quick recording of 3-4 to four games may have stretched out to be a bit longer than I expected, because my ranked 1's opponent in SSL actually challenged me to a best of 7. I won't spoil anything, but he does challenge me later in the video after a couple matches. It's been a long time since I've played a proper set of 1's games, so I'll do my best to get back into my old playstyle. It won't be the prettiest of games, but I try to explain my thoughts throughout the video as I'm playing, which is really difficult in 1's because it's super sweaty. I hope you guys enjoy the games, definitely a nail biter, and it goes back and forth. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump right in. Hope you guys enjoy. Oh, we got Bufo. He's actually 10 points above me. Oh, no. yeah, he's 10, po 10 points. <laughs> I can't math today. Let's see how it goes. Got Wasteland. Pretty solid map. One of my favorites in range right now. Probably gonna leave this, so I'm gonna stay with this for a second. Go for immediate flick. Try to get a bump. Oh, I tried to go for the block too and ended up missing, but that was pretty panicky for him because obviously he had no boost. So I wanted to get an immediate flick, so it was a little bit dangerous. That was good from him. Really good challenge. He ended up missing the boost though. All right, we'll take those. I, I don't know why he missed that corner, but that was if he got that corner, he was in a, a huge advantage for me because I had like maybe like 40 boost. I can't quite remember. It was really important that he gets the possession and the ball uh, and the boost there. All right. Okay, threw it away. Don't touch that ball as well. I'm just letting him t make the touches. I don't know why I went for the bump. That was pretty pretty all in. Hopefully we can get back before he shoots this. He ended up missing. Oh my gosh. He might be nervous. I mean, I'm, I, I've am i played him a lot, so I'm not sure uh, what's going on. Not the greatest shot for me. Once again, it's not going all in on the, uh, the challenge. I want to make sure I stay grounded. Right, so he goes for that. He commits pretty hard. I tried to bump him. Sort of got a touch. Once again, just not fully committing because if I do, then he's going to score. Good shot. Oh, way too high though. Get to the side. I haven't played ones in a while, so I feel like I'm not really playing ones the way that I want to, but I might turn on this and try to shoot or something. I know he's pretty low. Once again, just baiting him in, not, not letting him uh, take full possession. I could have shot that. I don't know why I didn't shoot that. I'm making a few mistakes here because I definitely could have scored the open open net. There we go. Just waiting for his flick. I don't have to pressure too much there. I can see so far that he really likes to bait uh, bait me in for the, the flicks immediately. So just let him do that. There we go. I'm not going to get this boost. He's probably going to bump me. If he bumped me a little bit worse there, I actually probably could have got scored on. Don't really need to do anything here. I'm just going to hold the defense until he changes his uh, his approach on the early shots. I don't need to worry. There we go. Let's get a shot towards target. Hopefully that's in. It might roll just out. Good save. I don't need to shoot right away. Don't need pressure. I got all the space in the world. Top right corner, nice. There we go. So a lot of uh, a lot of early shots from him. If he changed it up and, and, and made me hesitate a little more, it would probably be better for him. But because he's not uh, changing up his approach on the shots, so far it's been okay for me. It's been a little bit sketchy with some saves, but he has to go because it's time, uh, the time on the clock. He actually went for me instead of the turn on the shot, so it was a pretty good turn from him. Oh, I thought he was gonna shoot that right away. Go for the demo again. I thought he was going to go for the touch on the ball. It's probably going to be a goal for him. Should be. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so he's, he's changed it up now to go for demos more. I probably should have just like avoided him. I could have hit the break there. Hit the break check. I'm expecting him to run to the back of the ball because I could shoot that if I had more boost. But maybe, maybe he knew that I had no boost. Make him really awkward on the save. He has no boost. I know that. So I'm just going to go for the immediate shot. And there we go. Pretty awkward game. He definitely had a few openings at the beginning, but uh, you know, with first game of the day, 12 points is not too bad either, um, since he was a bit a bit above me. But overall, I just waited for his uh, immediate shots, and uh, it's more so if if a player isn't uh, going for those immediate shots, then it's a little dangerous because you can't uh, commit. Uh, you have to like really really pay attention to when they're changing their car car position to go for those higher flicks. All right, we got the same guy again. Um, honestly, I made a lot of mistakes last game. So hopefully, I can clean it up a little bit. He definitely should have scored a few more times, and he started to definitely threaten a little bit more at the end of the, the game. 
Um, and he has possession right here. I don't want to go for that. Some pretty low boost. All right. Excuse me. Um, I beg to differ. <laughs> pretty sure I hit that ball. Uh, let's. No, I guess not. No, I didn't hit the ball. A lot of fakes again. This boost won't probably show up for a little bit, so I gotta be a little careful. There we go. Get the boost. Boom it down the field. Should be an open goal here. He committed quite hard on that on that flick and didn't quite get it far enough on the the far side of the post. Definitely an interesting playstyle. One v one is very interesting nowadays. I feel like it's a lot of mind games and a lot of just like doing doing what the other player is not expecting. And sometimes it just just works and sometimes it doesn't work. So it's like kind of a lottery. To go behind him, so it's really awkward. Wait, what is what's happening? <laughs> Uh, I think he, 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 he backed up a little bit and the ball bounced in a way that he didn't expect it with the roll. And it went over his car. It was very surprising. There you go. If he stays with this, this is bad for him. I'll bump him instead. Yeah, he left because if he went for that boost, I was going to shoot right away. Should be a goal. He went way too early on the challenge. I just went for a, a little bit of an air roll to pop the ball a little bit higher. And his air dribble uh, defense was a little bit early because he probably could have just waited on the side. I didn't throw the ball up uh, well enough to be able to follow it. He probably would have got a free possession. So definitely not the most threatening air dribble of, <laughs> of the, in the world. So definitely could have waited. I can't go for the boost yet because he'll just go for the shot. Once again, too high. He just keeps going really high on the shots. It's probably going to be a goal here, though. Never mind. Okay, once again, early challenge. We get another flick. And a uh, pretty good win there. I mean, definitely still a lot of mistakes. That's, that's going to happen with 1v1s when I don't play them for a while. I basically just played them at the beginning of the season, got like top 60 because my MMR was so high, and then I never touched them. I played a few here and there like really late at night, but overall, I haven't really like gotten into recording them. And uh, I don't really care if I win or lose because I don't really care about the 1v1 play styles <laughs> and like learning how to how to like approach them the way that everyone does play them nowadays. I, I definitely make a lot more st mistakes than I used to. Um, but I hope you guys are learning something. I, I mean... It's definitely different than playing at, at like a specific rank. Like the things I'm talking about and the things that you have to watch out for are probably gonna be different in your rank com compared to like high high SSL. Uh, but uh, hopefully you can still some learn something. And uh, it's all about anticipation and knowing what your opponent is capable of. That's why like a lot of pros say that they don't really know what to expect from uh, like they call them ranked warriors. But honestly, a lot of them are actually really cracked. It's just that you don't know what they're capable of. So it's more comfortable when you know like what a pro can do and what they're going to go for. Uh, meanwhile, like a player that you're not familiar with can be much more difficult to read. We got Bufo again. So he's definitely changing it up. I think that his, uh, his play style is adapting a little bit more to like how I'm playing, but it's still, uh, still very panicky. He actually changed his car to Gizmo. Good, sh good save. It's going to fake him. I don't, I'm not sure what's happening right now. Okay. He went for the demo. I probably should not have faked that. I probably could have just scored. It's a good pop. Really well played. That's the early shot that I'm talking about that he was doing in the first game. He stopped, he stopped doing it, so I went early. I shouldn't have uh, went for the double pop, though. It's really all in. Not really smart for me. Let's see what he does here. All right. Pretty much hard missed that, so I'm just going to go for the shot. Um, I think he tried to go for like a pinch, but he didn't have enough boost to jump up high enough to get the ball, so he ended up just like plopping into the wall, but... Maybe a little bit of tilt. Definitely happens. I could try. He has no boost now, though. There you go. I'm just baiting him in for the shot. Should be open. Just going for a, a light shot to the left side. Once I baited him in, I knew he was going to jump because the ball was low enough for him to go for it. And since he's low boost, he's probably going to commit. So I just go for the low 50 instead. And uh, we get a good challenge. I, I He honestly hasn't been doing very fast kickoffs for a while, so... Um, I, I've been kind of playing it a little bit slower, but since he like set it up right there, I, I probably should be a little careful of uh, him cutting across the ball in the middle a lot more. But overall, it, since he's been going faster, I'm trying to mirror what he's doing. If he's going to go far, far further wide, I got to do something like that, basically. Let him bait into the 50-50, the that way I can go get the corner boost. If I go into that challenge before, it'd be pretty dangerous for us. He's gonna go for the bump on me, so I'll be a little bit careful. I definitely knew it was happening. It's just so hard to avoid if you do it perfectly. Um, there was definitely a bit of a gap. I think I waited a little. Uh, I, I didn't wait long enough because he wasn't like super threatening, and it, was, and it was pretty obvious what he was doing. Yeah, it's a good shot. 
I just definitely should not have jumped right there. That's what that's what killed me was the, that final jump. If I just drove, I would have been okay. It's just that once I jump, I'm, I'm further ahead than I want to be. And uh, not not a good position. He's going immediately. He's going to kill the ball out and then shoot it. Um, he definitely like, rushed a little bit harder than he needs to. He's trying to play like faster than he has to, which I think is what's causing him to throw away the ball a lot. Go for the immediate shot so he's low boost. Can't quite get to it. If he goes for that corner boost, it's definitely a goal. Uh, and if he doesn't go for the net right away, I'm going to I'm gonna go for that shot every time. Go for the fake. Hit the, the post. I'll bump him out. Hopefully I can turn around. Go for the top right corner, and there we go. That was not the greatest. I definitely didn't need to pop it as high as I did. That was a, definitely a mistake. Uh, but we bumped Bufo off. Honestly, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised with how these games are going, because I am really bad at ones. Uh... There's, there's just, as you can see, my kickoff is not great in ones. I used to do, uh, I used to do just straight flip flips a long time ago because I showed how that, like, that can work. Uh, trying to do more of, like, a speed flip sometimes. Sometimes I, like, fake it a little bit. Let me turn this in fast. Gotta be careful. Went for the bump on me again. There's that bump again. 1v1, classic 1v1 blunder right there. I definitely need to make sure I just avoid his bump and, and let him jump first. The more you can wait, the better. If that's the like the play he's going for, um, it's definitely uh, definitely readable. I'm just gonna go for an early air dribble. Go for the shot off the backboard. Ah, oh, it's a good shot. Right there, I probably should have just challenged him immediately, honestly, because he was uh, taking more control once again. That's not a great touch for me. It probably could be a goal for him too. He missed. me a goal yeah <laughs> that was uh definitely bad by me i definitely shouldn't have shot shot so early i had i had possession i need to bait him in to go closer to me and then hit the ball around him all right he's probably gonna go for the bump on me yeah there we go pretty interesting game i definitely definitely made a lot more mistakes in that one than the first two i will do one more and see if we can get him again then hopefully get another dub all right we got him again definitely definitely interesting play style i definitely made a lot of mistakes like i said uh more more blunders on me than than him uh, we'll lead into a loss there, but let's see if we can bring it back and play a little more inconsistent this game. Pop it up early. Probably doesn't expect that early chip. He's changing cars a lot too. I'm not sure why. He's probably maybe uh, got got like an uh, imposter syndrome on the octane. He has possession now. I don't want to go for the back corner boost. That's a good shot. Yeah, I had, I had to go for that because he could just shoot it far far side. Uh, I didn't mean to pinch it off the post, obviously. I tried to go for, like, a, a clear in the corner. Stay with this. Not a great touch. I meant to go for the flip reset. Probably going to score off this, too. He definitely should. Yeah, that's in. Um, I definitely didn't get a good setup with my air dribble. And uh, I ran out of boost before I could get the 50-50. I want to boost a little bit higher onto that to get a good 50-50. But, uh, obviously, did not play it well. Get the boost. And he missed. Okay, there we go. Uh, I definitely just played for the boost advantage there. He he didn't go for the back corner when I was uh, when I was thinking he was gonna go. So I saw the opening and I went for it. And then the way I dropped the ball down like that, I make sure to pop it nice and high. We get a free goal now. Not sure why he did that. He kind of like tried to bait me into a 50-50, but once again, I'm just not gonna go on those because it's not on target. There's no there's no real threat. So the more I can wait, and the more I can just wait for him to uh, outplay himself, the better. Which is what I didn't do enough of in the the, set, the third game there. Oh boy, that was close. Should be a shot though. I ended up uh, getting bumped by him or something, and then it was off target, so I just waited for the pinch off the back wall right there, and then I followed it up. It's really good to make sure that that doesn't roll up the wall. You want to bring that back in a minute as soon as possible. If you watch like really old. Uh, 1v1 videos with like Marky Duda and Mike rules and stuff. That's what like something they did a long time ago that people learned really quickly was that um, like going for those early uh, catches in the mid and oh, that's a good demo um, and bringing it midfield instead of up the wall. It's 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 a lot less time for the defender um, to go for. Oh, he went for a fake. That's really, really good by him. Um, it's really good to go for those early infield dribbles to make sure there's pressure on the defender. So they can't just get full boost and, and set up their defense. That's not a good shot either. I'm not really playing well with those those shots. Make him panic. 
Pop it up nice and high. Close. All right, there we go. We finally get it. I need to make make sure that those uh, shots are a lot, a lot more consistent than they are. I don't usually shoot like that in, in 2v2 or 3v3, and it's something that I definitely lose the skill of when I uh, play ones, because those early shots, I would I would just leave that for a uh, teammate. Go for the far left flick. He kind of saved it. I don't know what just happened. Like, I, I'm definitely just playing a lot more aggressive this game uh, because I'm finding there's a lot of openings with his play style. But that looked like he saved it, and it just kind of flew off the, the side post. I don't know. It was weird. There's the early flick. That's a good shot. Well, wasn't it a good save? Well, I could probably catch that on the backboard. I definitely need to just wait and like catch it, and make sure I stay close. Because if I if I throw it out mid like that, someone's just gonna take an immediate shot. We get a one second. We get another possession though. There we go. Go for the immediate shot instead. It gets a lot of power, a lot more power than you'd think uh, off those air dribbles. I was gonna go for a flip reset, but it's it's sometimes just better not to overcommit. Not sure why he's going for a bump. This isn't. This isn't. Oh my gosh, this isn't too easy, man. I I don't know why he's going for the bump there. There's no one that's gonna help him score that. I, that was a weird flick though. I definitely shouldn't have fallen for that. Good demo as well. Playing for those bumps again. Definitely need to stop falling for these uh these like basically playbook plays here. I need to make sure I uh, just loop around. Watch out for the bump. Kind of throwing this game away right now. And I need to stop it because there's only a minute left. All right, he also just threw the game away. <laughs> uh, I need to just make sure I just, you know, don't let my guard down because he's still kind of like all over the place. And it's hard to say what he's going to do. Because as you can see, he could just like pinch it in the floor of that and give, give us a free goal. So play a little bit smarter. Over him because I expected him to go because he's got very little time left. And then we can just roll the open net in. Um... Definitely didn't expect that. He definitely didn't, didn't expect that uh, last touch right there to pop it over him at the last second. It says GGs. I'll say GGs as well. Pretty good set of games. Obviously, I don't. I don't like that I lost that one game the way I did, but uh, <laughs> best of seven. <laughs> I mean, sure. We'll go. We'll keep going. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's what I like to hear. A little friendly banter. Let's let's see how this goes. I think it's three one right now. Watch me not even get him. Okay. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. I. I I think it's him because we're, we're now like 30 points apart, so it's a little harder to find each other. But at this rank, there's like a lot of there's a lot of players. Uh, oh, there's not a lot of players. I mean, so ooh, playing it slow. Not a great shot for me either. It's a little, little bit dangerous. That's a good shot. Playing pretty dumb so far. Not gonna lie, I definitely had an opening. I definitely just didn't score. There we go. I'm just going to focus a little more on the, the gameplay and this last little bit. Nice shot off the side post. Yeah, I feel like I when I talk a lot, I don't actually focus on what I'm doing. I'm more more trying to focus on what I'm saying to you guys because I feel like that's more important. But, you know, it's the best of seven now. I've got to take this a little seriously. Let's go for a play here. Good challenge. I might actually just be in. Yeah, that's, that is in. <laughs> this is why I don't go for those very often. People just early challenge, like we're super early. I need to make sure I play that safe. I probably could have just went down the wall and you know made a dribble play, but that's boring. I might just roll into his net too. Hopefully, let's go. Yeah, I went for the fake on the the, the catch. Like once the ball was rolling like that, I went for the fake uh, to catch the ball on top of my car. So I went for the 50-50 and just bounced into his net. No, not again. Not the bump again, man. Oh, it's so annoying. I hate it. I just hate it. It's the one thing in ones that's so annoying. It's just those bumps. Like, you can't challenge the way you want to because there's no one to help you. All right, that'll be a goal. Um, I need to make sure I be, be really careful with uh, with those bump plays when he gets really close. He likes to go for those, uh, like, slower rollers. So you have to, like, really push, push the ball out of your way. He's going to leave. He likes to leave on those, so I know that. I'm going to go to the left. Go for the immediate shot. Might be too fast for him. Yeah, I, he's been pushing up a lot of, on those, and I haven't really been taking advantage. No, not again. Freaking bump, please, man. Get off me. I'm going to fake this. 
I went way too wide with that. It's actually gonna shoot it too. Yeah, that was a really good play. I, I definitely could have played that a lot better and I actually probably got a goal out of it. If I went a little I looped out way too wide. I give way too much space in ones compared to what I used to. Might be a goal again. No, I couldn't get around it. Okay, okay. We gotta we gotta focus a little bit. Not fast enough, unfortunately. What am I doing? Big panic. Oh, good shot too. Yeah, I'm just like blundering really, really badly with the positioning. Oh my, what am I doing? All right, I'm thinking this is gonna probably, yeah, it's gonna be a forfeit here. Uh, <laughs> we have to go again here. Uh, definitely made a lot of mistakes that gave him the win there, but I, hopefully we can bring it back. Definitely not too happy with how I'm playing. I definitely could uh, be a lot more consistent and take advantage of the openings that he's giving me. Because there's a, uh, there's quite a few that I'm just not you know, making a good play on. So here we go. Put the bump on him. Close. Get the boost. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? I'm actually hard trolling. That's such a bad touch. Definitely need to stay with that. I have all the all the advantages and I just throw it away like that. It's really bad. It's a really bad save. Not a great shot though. Good save again. Pretty little boost. There we go for the shot. I need to stop playing so dumb, man. I need to I need to smarten up. I'm 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 actually like hard throwing. Oh my gosh. With a bump. Yeah, I, kn I knew he was gonna go for the fake. I had the, I had the read on the the flip reset. I just didn't go down to the ground fast enough. Would have been really good though, because if he did went for that pin pinch, I was on the floor. Like he would have just pinched it right into me, and then uh, I would have got a free possession. All right, here we go. There we go. Good shot. All right, got a good possession off the kickoff. We used it while we delayed our flick a little bit, so he pops over him. He has low boost. I'm just going to fake him. Go for the boost instead. No. He actually had enough to go for that. I thought he was pretty low. I think he had enough, like just enough to get around to it. So yeah. Well, well played by him. All right. He actually threw really hard. I'm not sure why he pushed so far up for me off the side. Definitely like... I feel like he's definitely like warming up and I'm just like playing worse. <laughs> this is an interesting uh, dynamic. I'm playing so bad like with some, some of my decisions, but... I'll smarten up a little bit. Let's see if I can stay with this. Okay, he goes for the immediate challenge. All right. Go for a good 50-50. Got some space. Lead in midfield first. Go for immediate shot. No way he bumps me too. That's really annoying. I definitely could have scored there if he didn't pop uh, bump me. Wow. Great. Good fake though. Holy crap, man. All right, this is game seven. He just stopped throwing though. There we go. This last game, I probably should have focused. I get the get the dub real quick. Nice, good first goal. Yeah, I think that's it's, it's, it's just it. I'm 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 psyching myself up. I'm trying to talk a lot, so I'm just gonna focus on the shots and the goals. And now that I'm focusing, <laughs> it's, it's working a lot better. Oh boy. Just so bad. It's so hard to talk and like do what you want to do and think about it. 
while also like, you know, still looking good and playing well. Big mistake by me. I shouldn't have flipped there. Good goal. I think I just need to let him bait, bait himself. Unfortunate. Yeah, he keeps going for those high, uh, high challenges. I need to be a little careful with that. Probably just boom it over him while he's, while he's pre jumping. Read the fake jump. Pretty good. Yeah, it's a lot more sweaty now at the end. <laughs> I saw him fake jump there. It's actually pretty interesting being really super quiet as well in a video. I don't usually do that. I saw him go for the fake on the pump fake there, and I just went for the shot. A little bit of high pop over him when he's uh, sitting there. 1v1 is so interesting. Good catch. Yeah, baited in the uh, the challenge there. That's that's what I needed to do earlier in the series. Uh, was actually like play it close and and carefully in the corner instead of just going for the immediate. Airdrill play. Play for time here. There we go. Good little fake. I popped off the floor and then followed up the air dribble uh, to keep it close. Playing a lot smarter with my, my choices. Stop being dumb. Smartened up at the end. Got uh, 44 seconds left. Got to keep this four goal lead. Going even for an even faster kickoff that time. There we go. Nice quick shot. Woo! Just got to focus, man. I was psyching myself out. GG's well played. Pretty good series. Uh, definitely made a lot of mistakes though. It, it definitely got me hyped up to do more uh, 1v1s though. Maybe uh, some show matches in the future. Uh, but with those being some of the, the first 1v1 games I've recorded in probably like two months, three months. Uh, it's pretty exciting. Pretty interesting. Definitely an interesting play style. Uh, playing between ones and twos and stuff. He really caught me out on some of those like late flicks and stuff because of how he like basically conditioned me in the early game or in the early games to expect those early flicks and I even talked about it how it's hard to anticipate when he does start doing those delays and stuff uh, but he did he definitely like adapted really well in this the later half I just in, in the last game I just like had to focus I was like tired of making so many stupid mistakes I was just getting really frustrated at myself but I hope you guys enjoyed regardless definitely an interesting one uh, sorry I got a little frustrated at myself <laughs> definitely happens when I when I know that it's like in my hands in my control to make the mistakes and and, and lose the games especially what I like you know could have closed the series out but I hope you guys enjoyed like I said until next time have a great day and we'll catch you guys in the next one